What's up YouTube fam? Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you haven't been here before, my name is Sasha and I make videos on fitness, shit that I buy, and places that I go. Welcome to my crib, but literally welcome to my crib. If you can't tell, I'm actually on the ground. This is what we're dealing with right now. I'm on the ground, this is my bed. This is the window with all the natural light. I really should invest in purchasing a light for making videos. I haven't gotten to that yet. The light isn't too bad in here. It, it could be better, but I'm not complaining. I've been super busy. I meant to make this video last weekend, but the lighting in my room was literally shit. So I didn't film. Um, and I've just been super busy, man. So I'm back with favorites video today. I'm super excited because I was freaking out that I didn't have enough favorites because I didn't really buy a lot of shit this month. But what I did notice is I have a lot of stuff that I use a lot that I really love and I was like, I can just include this. I have beauty stuff, I have foods, I have some clothes and stuff. We gonna get right into it. So first beauty product, this is something I use every single day. It is a Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I do not own foundation, I do not own concealer, I do not own powder, I don't own any of that stuff because I don't know how to do my own makeup. So you really shouldn't be taking any advice from me. It has SPF 20 sunscreen in it. It is so light when it goes on. Um, it, I feel like it just kind of, because it's tinted, I feel like it sometimes it balances out my complexion. If I wake up and I have dark circles under my eyes, it'll balance it out a little bit. Um, I put it on before I go to the gym for some color. This is literally my favorite thing. I think it's like 36 bucks um, and a drop goes a long way, so it probably lasts me like four months to six months at a time, so. That's just me, I literally don't wear any makeup. Yay! My second beauty product is this thing. So, L'Oreal's True Match Lumi Glotion. Remember how I said I don't know anything about makeup? One time, I didn't have any makeup on me and I think I was trying to go somewhere where I needed to be wearing some makeup. I must have been self-conscious about how my face looked. So I went to like CVS to buy makeup, but when you go to a drugstore, like, how are you supposed to know what color you fit? So I saw this and I was like, oh, this is so pretty. And I just bought it and I didn't know what it was. I put it like all over my face and I was like, okay, here we go. So I was watching another favorites video of this girl and she had a similar product and she put it like underneath her eyes and like for glowy and I was like, oh, maybe that's what it's for. It makes me have this like kind of glowy complexion underneath my eyes. It brightens a lot. I love it. Third beauty product. I have been really into lip gloss lately. I don't know why. Um, I saw this girl wearing this lip gloss from ColourPop, and if you don't shop at ColourPop, I don't really know why you wouldn't. It's like so cheap, but I bought this lip gloss from them, and it's called Champagne, and I'm wearing it right now. It enhances my natural lip color, and it goes with like everything. Like it's great for day to night, and not like I go anywhere at night. I like my bed. This is my fave um, lip gloss that I've been wearing. Uh, I wear it literally every day, and it was six bucks. Can't be better than that. Jeez. Last beauty product is the perfume I wear that literally I have never received more compliments on anything in my life. This perfume is the best. It's by YSL, and it comes in a travel size. It comes with like a lotion. It is literally the best smelling perfume you've ever smelled in your life on a woman. Mm. I think it smells like a sophisticated woman with a hint of curiosity. That's how I would describe it. Yay! I'm not gonna throw that because it's big. Moving on to clothes. It's been so cold in San Diego. I, I don't know why. Um, more importantly, it's been freezing in my office. We just moved office buildings to a really old building in San Diego, and it's really cool, great location, but there's no AC or heating units, and so I wanted something to wear other than my Snuggie to make me feel cute every day going to work. I'm also going to Portland with my boyfriend soon, and it's also very cold there. So I've been wanting like a fuzzy jacket for a long time, so I finally bought one. It looks like this. If you can, oh, there's, there's a hair of mine. There's another hair of mine. Oh, there's another one. This is a fun game. Five hours later. It's, it's from Zoffel, which is this like clothing company that sells like all this cute like fast fashion for really cheap. It ships from China. It's kind of like hit or miss sometimes. Like this is a small and it fits me like 
pretty good. For how cheaply it might be made, like it keeps me really warm. It's super cute zipped up, which I was very shocked by. Has huge pockets. So I love this jacket. Um, I think it was like 20 bucks. And I still think they're in because it's still kind of like winter everywhere. I just love it, I love it. I can't wait to wear it in Portland, it'd be really cute. Next is a pair of boots because I can never have enough pairs of black boots. So I got these, they were 40 bucks. Why I like them so much is because they look like a fry boot, which is a really high-end leather boot, and it's because of the buckle right here that's kind of like Fry's signature buckle. I just like love these shoes. They were so weirdly comfortable when I wore them the first time. Like I was expecting them to hurt my foot, but they were so comfy. And the brain is the brain. The brand is called Jane and the Shoe. I would recommend these to anyone. They're so cute. Um, Coachella, if you're going and you wear booties because wearing sandals to Coachella is disgusting, these are a great shoe for Coachella. You're welcome, Coachella goers. Moving into like fitness stuff, I only have one thing which makes me kind of sad. I ran a Spartan race in January. I had never run one before, so I didn't really know what to prepare for, but I knew that I wanted to like have chalk on me and I wanted to have like sunscreen and chapstick and like perhaps my phone. I don't really know what to prepare for. So I went to Dick's Sporting Goods and I was like, I need like a runner's belt or something. So I bought this one. It's Spine Nathan. And it's just like a thick material belt. Um, and I got it in a small. It has two pockets, one in the back and one in the front. Um, I went in water with this in the Spartan Run and I'm pretty sure it's waterproof. Like nothing was wet in there after. I was shocked that this thing didn't ride up on me throughout the Spartan Race um, because normally like belts that just sit on your hips, they ride up when you move, but it didn't. It was awesome. If you're like an outdoor runner, like this is a great belt for you. You can keep everything in it, your phone, your keys, a knife, pepper spray. I'm not sure if anyone heard about that mountain lion that attacked that runner in Colorado. Ladies, men, bring knives, bring pepper spray, because people alone are crazy, but then you got wild animals out there trying to eat you for dinner. One random item that I have that I got for Christmas is this candle that I love. Oh, I can smell it. Oh my God, I love it so much. My boyfriend's dad got this for me for Christmas, and I like didn't light it until maybe like three weeks ago and I have not been able to stop lighting it and I always have to blow it out after like 30 minutes because I don't want it to end. Um, it's called Smoked Oatwood Scented Candle. It, it just smells like relaxation with like a hint of the holidays. Like that's how I would describe it. Um, it's just like, oh my God, it smells so good. It looks like maybe something you could get it like Home Goods or like Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I don't know what DW Home is, but I'll include it with a link. So moving on to food. Two items that I have that I don't have with me because one, I ate all of them and the other one's too big to bring upstairs. My first one is a protein bar and it's called the Fit Crunch and you can get it at Costco. And dude, when people tell me that they have a protein bar that they really like, I usually call BS because protein bars are gross. The only protein bars that I've ever found that I've ever liked is this one, Fit Crunch, and the One Up Nutrition protein bar, which I'll have to include in a favorites video because it is so good. This Fit Crunch protein bar is delicious. Tastes like a crunchy Snickers with just a little bit more chocolate, with a little bit more uh, peanut butter in it. Oh, you can get them on Amazon. So in one bar, which is 46 grams, like it's a, it's a good bar. Like, oh my God, it's so good. For the amount of like calories and stuff, like it's a huge bar and it fills me up for an afternoon snack. Like I eat it before I work out. It's so good. So 190 calories, eight grams of fat, 14 carbs, three grams of sugar, 16 grams of protein. Sold. Tell me a protein bar where they have more protein than carbs when there's not a lot of sugar in it. Name me a bar. I'll wait. Yeah, you can't find one. They're so worth it. Like, oh my gosh, I just love them so much. The next item that's a favorite that I don't have here up with me is because it's ginormous is my Instant Pot. Oh my gosh, I got it for Christmas from my mom. So I wouldn't say that my Instant Pot cooks things like much quicker um, than if I were to put things in the oven like chicken or anything like that, but it cooks things perfect. Stuff falls off the bone. Another thing that I really like about my Instant Pot is that you can put frozen 
meat in there. So I can actually put it in my Instant Pot for like 20 minutes and it will completely defrost it and cook it perfectly. Then I can add all the seasonings. Oh my God, it's game changer. I absolutely love it. And it's easy cleanup because everything's in like one area. Okay, my last favorites is actually not mine. It's a gift I got for my dad for um, his birthday recently. It's like insanely convenient. I'm always really impressed with how long it keeps my coffee warm. So it's a Hydro Flask coffee cup. So it was a little expensive. I think it was like $25, but it's so worth it. Like, I hate when my coffee gets cold. Like I always have to heat my coffee up at work like five million times because it takes me so long to drink my coffee every morning. But this is really great. So Hydro Flask, little portable coffee cup. I think it's well worth the 25 bucks or however much it is. Those are my favorites for this month of January, which we are now in February. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this because I actually like kind of really enjoy doing these videos. Like this is really fun to talk about consumerism. Disclaimer, I'm not super into like beauty products but I try to be um, because I I do like to feel pretty um, but I'm always into skin I really want to get into skincare because like my skin I would prefer to just never wear makeup ever in my life and just have great skin so if you have any good skincare recommendations send them my way I have no problem with buying them and testing them out but I really hope you guys enjoyed this um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up um, and other than that I will see you guys um, next time I make a video which will probably be about my Portland recap um, I leave in a few days for Portland my boyfriend for Valentine's Day yeah well thanks for watching um, don't forget to subscribe if you like to and I will see you guys next time bye yeah yeah Subscribe to Tell Them at the Side. This is her boyfriend. I don't know if that really matters, but love you. Bye. Okay, love you too. Bye.